welcome to the first video uh, of part 3 of the overall Master the Crypto course. Uh, and this whole section is dedicated towards learning about technical analysis. This is one of my favorite things to do. Why? Because uh, prior to this, my experience was, uh, was usually based on uh, technical analysis. Uh, so I have... I've been doing uh, charting using predicting price movement through reading of the charts and indicators and that is, this is one of my uh, strong points and I would really love to share with you uh, what I know. But uh, before that, let's uh, understand what is technical analysis and uh, in comparison to fundamental analysis. So traditionally, if you want to assess a certain investment in the stock markets or any other investments, you would uh, engage in either Fundamental analysis, which I have gone through with you, or technical analysis. Fundamental analysis uh, involves analyzing the core fundamentals of the company or the investment based on the numbers, the intrinsic value based on their financial statement. So you get to know or what number, what price they are valued at, right? It's based on real fundamentals of the company. Technical has nothing. Technical analysis has nothing to do with the fundamentals of the company. Uh, technical analysis uh, aims to look at the price movement of the stock, security, or investment, and make your investment decisions based on price movement and volume, and a host of other tools and indicators to help you with that. So it's basically a. Uh, it's uh, basically analyzing the past performance of of the investment right with uh, very little or nothing to do with the fundamentals of that and both sides have been on a constant war with each other because fundamental analysts will say that you know what's the point of studying technical analysis because the real purpose of why you invest is because you want to find something which is valuable and for you to quantify what's valuable you have to do fundamental analysis right but then the technical analysts will say Oh, you know what? What's the point of studying fundamental analysis when all the information is already priced in on the stock? No one can, uh, as in, uh, why would you want to waste your time uh, doing research on uh, on companies or investments which already, as in fact, which in which its prices has already been factored in? Right, due to the information being made public. So there's no point in saying fundamentals. But I'm apolitical. I, I, I'm in no side of one another. What I am, however, is exploiting both sides, right? Because I want to know the fundamentals and I want to know the technicals so that I can merge, so that I, I can find investment opportunities at a much more holistic and more uh, safe, level to reduce my risk having both the best of both worlds i think is the best thing because you can look at both sides and if there's uh, if both agrees to your conclusion you have nothing to lose as in that, that may be the best call you know rather than just relying on a certain school of thought without uh without uh coexisting i think that that may work but it's more effective if you combine both disciplines together and hence this course in this master liquid because i want to ensure that you guys have the best of both worlds right so you can make decisions investment decisions based on fundamentals as well as technical all right so let's get into it so what is technical analysis it's a method of evaluating uh securities traditionally that involves statistical analysis of its market activity such as our price and volume right they do not attempt to measure the intrinsic value of the uh, of the corporation or the company or the investment but rather what they do is they use charts price charts and tools to identify patterns that can be used as a basis for investment decisions right there are many many different types different forms of technical analysis right some rely on chart pet, uh, price pattern other use others they use just uh technical indicators and oscillators and most use a combination of techniques right in any case the technical analysis uh exclusive use of the historical prices and volume data is what separates them from fundamental analysts. 
unlike uh, fundamental analysis, the uh, technical analysis doesn't concern itself with the uh, with uh, an investment valuation or the intrinsic value, because the only thing that matters are the past trading data. Is what history has already shown us, and what information the data might provide in the for the future for the future price movements, right? Okay. It's very important, and why do they say that uh, the fundamental value doesn't concern them? Is because the uh, the assumption is in technical analysis, the price of a certain security and investment has already reflected all available information, public information, and instead focuses on static statistical analysis on price movements. <laughs> now, it may appear complicated on the surface. But it really, really boils down to uh, the foundation that the analysis is just based on supply and demand. So that's it, the supply and demand of the of the investment to determine on the market to determine where the price trend is headed. Uh, the reason they can afford to do that is because of based on three assumptions. Uh, technical analysis is based on three main assumptions. The first assumption is that the market has already reflected everything. So all the information has already been priced into the security. And secondly, the assumption is that uh, prices moves in trends. And, his and last assumption is that uh, history tends to repeat itself. Okay, now, you have to understand that uh, technical analysis, even though it, stud it studies the demand and supply of a certain price point, of certain security, but usually it's based on the market sentiments. It's based on psychology because the market is uh, is made up of people like you and me, right? Sometimes we are rational, sometimes we are irrational, and that is reflected in the price movements of the investments that we look at, right? If the price goes down, there's a lot of uh, FUDs, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, right, in the marketplace. So if the price go up, there's a lot of uh, uh, what talk on uh, positivity on uh, going to the moon, you know. So all this uh, you have to factor in the psychology of the people, of sorry of the market sentiments. So to really understand uh, that, so that's why technical analysis is not just statistical measure uh, studies, but it's also but it's also a qualitative study on the emotions and the psychology of the marketplace. The more you know about the uh, market sentiments, the more you can connect and you get a more more uh, rational feeling, rational feeling, a uh, more as in a more focused gut feeling towards your investment decisions. Right, you should not be afraid of these charts because it's simply a recollection of uh, history, of past prices. There's a huge amount of techniques and tools that you that can be overwhelming for you, but I've compressed the videos with the most fundamental concepts which are most commonly used and which in my opinion is the most effective because the simplest ones are often the most uh, the most uh, effective ones, right? So you can, but the beauty of learning uh, technical analysis from our course is that you can absolutely venture out of the acquiring the, the foundations you get from this course and use for more complicated techniques according to your research or what you think is right uh, to further enhance your trading uh, trading strategies. What I pro what I can provide you is the basic fundamentals for you to add on. It's just like Ethereum providing you the uh, platform so that developers can build on application. This is exactly the same. I'm your Ethereum. Uh, to as you guys are the developers on the Ethereum blockchain, so basically you can you can mix and match. It's so versatile and flexible that virtually you can. It's up to you to use what kind of indicators and what kind of patterns that you want. So it's really really flexible, right? Uh, what I'm about to teach you serves as the fund, uh, foundation of the skills, and it's really really exciting. Because if you look at the Wall Street people, the professional money managers, they look at charts and you think it's cool. Yeah, it's it's really cool, but uh, it's very easy. It's very, very easy and, and I will teach you about that. So here's an, uh, an example. If you can look at your screen, this is a chart on a grid coin, 
right? And look at the price movements, you know. Uh, at first, uh, at first thought, you look at the price and you might see, what is this? This is just prices going up and going down. But to a technical an analyst, just looking at the price, they, they can possibly know what uh, the what prices can do in the short, medium, and long term, you know, and if you look below, there's the indicators to help you, a bunch of lines and a bunch of uh, histograms, you know, color-coded lines. So all this will help you, and I will teach you how to navigate through uh, reading the price, the prices, and the using what tools, and hopefully by the end of this whole part, consisting of four videos on technical analysis, you will be able to look at a chart differently than now. So you just look at it and think, oh, it's just prices. But at the end of the day, my objective is for you to look at the prices and say, oh, that's a very interesting price. Let me let me pull off some predictions. Or that's what I want you to be proactive in, all right? So in the next video, we'll, we'll uh, dive into the specifics of technical analysis starting with uh, looking at prices and uh, charting and charting basics right so hopefully you uh, you stick with me to the next video see you in the next video thank you